speech pathology involves um, a few different things. One thing, um, a large focus um, many times is to improve swallowing. If a patient has a swallowing disorder, um, we'll take a look and see uh, what's going on. If there's a way that we can um, improve the swallowing, figure out a diet that might be able to be swallowed safely, and then continue to work and towards getting them back to uh, where you were, hopefully. And um, that involves exercises and strategies to work around whatever problem happens to be going on. Um, in addition to swallowing, we do work on some speech, actual speech um, disorders, uh, motor speech disorders a lot of time because of a stroke or something like that. A large focus is also the language, so understanding what people are saying to you, being able to express what you want to say, um, you know, and sometimes we'll be able to kind of work with what's there to use uh, spoken language and sometimes if that's not happening um, when you first come up we'll work with some other ways to get your point across maybe through writing or using a picture board or things like that so communication functional communication is a large part of what we do as well so in addition to the swallowing and the language and communication um, we also work on cognition things like um, memory, trying to, if there's memory deficits are identified, improving that, or difficulty with reasoning and problem solving, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, and the goal is dependent on what the patient needs um, are. So a uh, goal for one patient might just be for swallowing, and it would be to be able to safely swallow the least restrictive diet by the time you leave here. And if you need to continue with therapy, we would recommend that. And, give you the tools that you need to keep your swallow safe as you continue your treatment. Um, or a goal might be to be able to express your basic wants and needs verbally by the time you leave and then continue with therapy. Or you may have just a mild motor speech disorder and so the goal would be just to get some of those muscles stronger and be able to speak as clearly as possible. Um, by the time you leave. And just, again, uh, depending on how far we get during your acute stay, you may be done with the speech portion of your, of your rehabilitation when we're done here, or you may go on to continue your rehabilitation at a different level, whether it be skilled nursing or outpatient therapy or home health.